Yo, Hector Eric, Kira here for Adventures in Golf. And for this episode, we've traveled to a small island in Finland where everybody speaks Swedish. And next week, this course is hosting its first Ladies European Tour event. Bjorn, you gotta get in this. That is the frog dance. This is Jesper Eliasson, the club chairman for Ulan Golf Club. Small old frog. He just showed me a traditional Swedish dance done to celebrate the arrival of summer. And while summer is drawing to a close right now, Jesper and the golf club have a lot to celebrate. The reshaping of, of, of the course, which Philip Spogard have designed, and uh, Nelson Vecchio built, it's in par with the, with the best courses in, in, in the Nordics. Now we have a course which can actually host a European Tour event. And the course's very first event is happening when the Ladies European Tour comes to play here next week. I mean, that's got to be a huge deal. It is. The combination of having people come here for two or three days is going to kind of put the course a little bit on the map. Putting it on the map is a tremendous accomplishment for a course that almost never existed, but we'll get back to that. First, let's talk about where we are. Just off the southwest coast of Finland lies a cluster of over 6,500 islands and skerries that make up the Finland province of Uland. The largest of these, called Fasta Uland, or Mainland Uland, is where over 90% of the island's population reside. Thankfully, the island is large enough to have a small airport, and we fly into the capital city of Mediham. From there, it's just 15 miles north to get to Uland Golf Club, now one of Finland's top-rated courses. And as we make our approach, I can already see why. That place looks awesome. Upon arrival, I'm greeted by club director Bjorn Venstrom, and I get some first looks at the course. I've only been here for about two minutes. Yeah, yeah. But you can already feel a different kind of energy than I get. You know, it just, it feels very, like, peaceful and organized. Uh, exactly, yeah. It's quite calm today, but, uh, I mean, we have quite a lot of groups. We have a big group from, from Uppsala in Sweden here. Oh, okay. Playing a tournament. So it's different days, different vibes. So you say. just said uh, you have a group from uh, Sweden. Yeah. And uh, this question is going to keep coming up, but what country are we in right now? We are in Finland. Åland is belonging to Finland, okay. but we speak Swedish. <laughs> so okay. it's quite confusing. Let's have a quick look at why this may be so. Dating back to the early 18th century, the islands and all of Finland were part of Sweden. But in 1809, they were relinquished to the Russian Empire, and it remained that way until Finland gained its independence in 1917, after which the Åland municipalities wanted to reunite with Sweden, but Finland denied this request. It wasn't until 1921 that the League of Nations would grant sovereignty of Uland to Finland, but make Finland guarantee Uland's Swedish culture, language, customs, and system of self-government. While this is very much an oversimplification, it does show why Swedish is the primary language here. In Swedish, the way you say hello is hey. Yeah. is hey. Hey. It's, it's very simple. Yeah. I thought people spoke English to me. Oh, okay. They're saying hey, and I'm hey. like, hey. Right. And they could tell that the way I said hey is different. Yeah. Because yeah. how do you say it? Hey. Hey. Yeah, with a sharp J. Because I would say, yeah. hey. Hey. That doesn't sound hey. like it. No, That's it's different. not the same, yeah. They know that you're not Swedish. Hey, exactly. Not speaking Swedish hasn't stopped the thousands of tourists each year from coming to Uland and playing this course, which, as I mentioned earlier, was almost never built. For more on the history of the course, I sit down with Jesper, who explains how his own personal history intertwines with that of the courses. I'm born in 1970, then back in Uppsala. My, 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 my mother and my father, they were studying there. And I think he picked up some interest for golf when he was studying. And uh, they came back to Holland Islands and uh, they decided, a few of them, to, to, to kind of found the first uh, 
the association of, of Orland Golf Club. The club was founded in 1975, but there was still one thing missing. We had no course on the Orland Islands, so we had to go with a ferry two hours to the mainland uh, in, in, in Sweden to play in courses in Sweden. It would remain that way until 1983, when, after a bit of convincing, the first nine holes were built. We are renting this land because the land is owned by the Åland government. And uh, the land was used for, for agriculture. And why on earth should you, you know, rent it out to something like golf? Who, who is stu that stupid, you know? Okay. So isn't it better that we kind of keep continuing growing grass on it or, or, or having cows on it? And that was kind of the, the biggest hurdle here to, to get kind of a, a, a one big enough land uh, to, to build a great course, actually two courses. It was even just convincing that golf was viable. Yeah, that was, you know, that was kind of... Because this is before the golf boom, really. Yeah, really. Golf boom or not, the full 18-hole course, Slotsbahn, meaning castle course, was completed in 1988. And a few years later, the second 18-hole course, Kungsbanan, meaning king's course, was built. These, along with a short six-hole course called The Princess, make Ulan Golf Club a great golf destination. Golf isn't really a, a common or popular pastime of the Nordic countries, is it? Well, I'd say it's becoming more and more popular, actually. And uh, our problem here is, of course, that we have such a short season. Normally here on Åland, we can start playing end of April, maybe beginning of May and we can go on maybe until the beginning or end of October. Mm. But then it's bye-bye for the season and then we have to close down because of the rains and then later the snow. Yeah. So every year we have to build up the course again. And that's of course a challenge. I mean, it looks in great shape and you have a big event. The, the Ladies European Tour is gonna be here for the first time. Yep. Right. Next week. Exactly. I'm nervous. I am nervous as well, <laughs> as you can imagine. But it looks amazing. What does 58 mean? What is that? 58 means 5,800 meters. That's when you play oh. the course, 5,800 meters. So you have, that's what, that's a back tee actually. Oh, okay, for us, 1,500 we, meters is like 7,000 yards? Uh, something like that. So not me. the longest course. No. That's the longest it can be. Yeah. Is it yeah. par 70? It's par 71. 71, yeah. okay, yeah. cool. We, we don't have the black tee or white tee or, or oh, yellow Oh, they're tees. all black, but yeah, some exactly. say 58, others say 55? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Exactly. Some, That's something. cool. Yeah. We have never seen that before. Because normally you would have said before, Men play from yellow tea and right. uh, ladies from red tea, but here it's more gender neutral. If you're a long hitting lady, you can use the okay. back tee with 58. Both of those fairways are the eighth fairway? Exactly. You have to choose wisely if you go on the right hand side or, or the left hand I've side. I've never seen, it doesn't even look like a split fairway. It looks like two different golf holes. Definitely. And neither of them really can you see the green. No, exactly. So this is because uh, the architect saw these are fairways that are used from the old course, actually. In 2019, the original castle course was renovated to make better use of the property, as well as highlight the 14th century castle located just over the bay. The architect wanted to bring the holes closer to the water. Oh. Uh, so today, seven of the 18 holes are playing really along the water. And, and from all the 18 holes, you have sight lines down to the water as well. So that's something that we're really happy about because visitors and guests can enjoy the views from, yeah. from every hole. Yeah, it seems to be a very stunning golf course. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to go play it. All right, you're up first, Mr. Three Hole in Ones on the golf course. Okay. And Frog Dance. And the Frog and Dance. Club Chairman. I mean, the list goes on. It's finally time to play, and we've got ourselves a great fivesome. First up is our Club Chairman, Jesper. If we do the Hole in One, then it will be the, the Frog Dance, right? Frog Dance yeah. upon Hole in One. Yes, yeah. that's the that's okay. the rules up here. Oh, a high draw. That is looking really Frog good. Dance. Does that come back? Oof. Nice shot. Yep, thank you. That's good. Then we have my buddy Sebastian from Tacoma Golf. 
You're the only Finnish person that I've met here in Finland so far. What do you have to say? <laughs> and then also, uh, you're the one that told me to come here. Yeah. Why did you, what was it, we were talking about uh, playing golf in Finland a few months ago and you were like, you should go to Olens. Why did you, what made you think that I should come here? Well, it's a beautiful place. If you look around, uh, I think the Finnish archipelago is kind of a unique place, even here in Finland. So I think it's like a cool place to start your Finnish or Nordic journey. Yeah. <laughs> We've known each other for a while now, so it was great that he could make it out. Now it's not Ace Cam is live, it's Frog Dance is live. Boy. Uh, you're gonna that get ball might be in fin We're already in Finland. Might be in Sweden. Yeah. Hey, I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. Hi, Emma. Hi. How are you? This is Emma's home course, but more importantly, she'll be playing in the upcoming LET event. Oh yeah. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. How big of a deal is it for you to play in a professional golf event? Um, a big deal. It's gonna be really fun. <laughs> I've never played an event this big, so it'll be an experience for a lifetime. And finally, we have Chris, the head pro. Ben, ben Hogan. Yeah, I got yeah, old clubs. Did you, did you pull those out of the attic? No, yeah, I just yeah. love Do you play them. with I'm, these I'm, every day? I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm born, the, I'm born the same day. Look at this. I'm born on the same day as <laughs> Ben Hogan. No. So, you are not. Yeah. And that's an E. What does the E mean? Equalizer. That yeah. is not true. E equal, yeah. Equal, there's no e way there's a club named Equalizer. Equalizer equals out your game. That's what that's what it does. His, his nickname is actually Mr. Straight. <laughs> he throws death straight out of tea boxes, you know. So it's. <laughs> you see? Whoa! Death straight. Just a straight ball, yeah. Fantastic shot. Yeah. Like a pro. Okay. Chris has been the head pro here for over 20 years, but he is neither from Sweden nor Finland. Wow. Good wow. Whoa. <laughs> Chris comes from England. When I go to the UK and people say, oh, I live on Orland, they go, where is that? So it's just basically, I say, it's a small island uh, in the middle of the Baltic Sea. <laughs> and, and, and people don't even know where the Baltic Sea is, most of them. I've never anyway. heard of it. No, so, so it's quite <laughs> difficult to explain, really. I had, I had heard of the Baltic Sea. Yeah. But I didn't realize that we were in the middle of it no. until someone said it yesterday. No, exactly, yeah. Well done, nice Emma. Emma. So how are you able to play in the event? Um, I've got a wild card from uh, the Finnish Golf Union and the Golf Club. And how many of these uh, female professional golfers uh, are like your idols? Um, a few of them. <laughs> I've played a lot of golf with the, the Finnish ones, so it'll be fun playing against them again. How is it going to feel, you think, to show up to the golf course with all of these professionals here? I'm going to be nervous. <laughs> I already know that. <laughs> but it'll be fun. Oh, wow. Whoa. He's deep. Is it, is it OK? Yeah, it's OK, Asper. Yeah, awesome. Man. Can you just hit it as hard, as hard as you can? Hard as you can. Take the long, we, long we John drive swing. Yeah, come yeah. on. Oh. This is oh. rock and roll. That goes all over the place. Right, come on. OK. OK. This is not Mr. Straight now. No, 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 no. We are not pressuring you for straightness. Oh, perfect. Nice shot. Wow. Fantastic. OK. Don't nice sound so man. surprised, Jasper. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I did not drive you by that much. Nah, nah. He goes to Switzerland for work a lot and buys yeah. the swatch. Uh, and this one specifically, the yeah. colors. We like it. It's all on colors. Isn't it neat that there is a swatch that actually celebrates the Olin? Wait, but that's Olin not Island. really for Olin. That's I just a coincidence. So. That's yeah, my you thing. think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's good. Snake Emma. It's ready. What's the lowest score you've ever shot, Chris? Uh, 64. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 64. Mm -hmm. It's probably a hard course too. Very hard. Yeah. Yeah. Extremely. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Par si par 75. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Sebastian, this is the famous pitching wedge that was hit yeah, over the Dunwagen. <laughs> yeah. Look at that little mark there. That's from the Dunwagen. That's from the Dunwagen there. Yeah. yeah. That's a different story. But Sebastian right. is very familiar with my club <laughs> since it's his company that made it. You have a golf club company. When you started that, like, what was in your mind of what was going to make that special? 
Um, I think it's Nordic design and the Scandinavian mindset on, of doing golf clubs. And a lot of that's like echoes here in the archipelago. That it's like simple landscapes and um, like this calming views. And that's what we wanted to bring to the golf club design so that uh, the minimalism and uh, kind of uh, like doing things really simple and not not like cluttering everything on the golf club and, right and the company because on there's there's not that many Finnish golf brands at all right I mean are there any M might be some boutique brands but we're basically the only <laughs> only global golf company here in Finland and you're making irons for everyone basically yeah yeah that's super exciting yeah. Emma, have you ever done the frog dance? Yeah, when I was a kid. Not, oh, as an adult, you don't do it anymore? Oh, well, yeah, I have, but she... not in a while. Because Jasper and I just did it before you got here. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, it's yeah. on. It's on camera. <laughs> it's a pr it's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I think we should do it again. I can't believe it. It's such a big historic event that the LET is coming here. I feel like, does it feel a bit like surprising to you? Um, yeah, before the reno, I wouldn't have thought it. But since the course has grown and become so good, I think it deserves to have a LET here. Get up. Get up. Oh, you never make a putt doing that. <laughs> what for you is a great Swedish golf term? Fee, fine, yeah, the fee. Fee, fine, yeah, for weed. Yeah, exactly. Good, what did good. you say? <laughs> hell. Uh, I, I do it all the time. All the <laughs> <laughs> um, is this IKEA? Um, it's possible, actually, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there a lot of pride in, uh, in IKEA? Well, IKEA being Swedish, uh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Since I'm Finnish or Hollandish. Do they have an IKEA in, in Finland or have they? Oh, definitely. Oh. They they have uh, big warehouses in, in Finland as well, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's quite common there as well. Oh, this would be a great three. And uh, nice part. What do you think? Frog dance? Can you do it on the green with your spikes? Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, aren't you this kind of rock and roll golfer? Hey, it's your course. It's yeah, your, I'm not wearing spikes. It's actually your reputation. It's yeah. not mine. I'm fine. Hey, that was very good. That was a great round. Thank you. Woo. Thank you, Jasper. That was great. Yeah. Great. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks. Oh, it's Lovely. Thank you good very time. much. You think they saw that and they're wondering what's happening? <laughs> they know exactly what happened. They know what happened. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, everybody.